Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now I'm out here in the garden this morning and it dawned on me I have not done a garden tour video this year because honestly there hasn't been anything really to show, but there is now. So this is gonna be a short video, but I wanna show y'all what's going on right now and a few of the things that I have planned and that's coming. So uh, sit back, relax again, it's gonna be a short video. Let's do it. Okay, so normally I always start over there. But we're gonna finish over there. Let's start over here. In fact, I wanna start where I'm super proud, right off the bat, because this trellis system that I built last year for this wall, which I'll put a link to that video right here, has really turned out to be a really good idea, and it's worked. So, check out what's going on over here. Right here are the Chinese long red beans that I grow every year that will go up this entire wall. Beside them are the Armenian long cucumbers that will go up the, the trellis. But these are my favorite right here. These are the Rampincotti, the zucchini Rampincottis that I grew last year that just got so big. I'm excited to have them go up a trellis. And once they get up the trellis, I'm going to do something to actually loop the trellis over here. So I kind of want to have an arch right in this area for those. So I think it'll be real pretty and they grow big. So we'll see. Right beside them, all of this are just beans, and they are going crazy. Look how tall. These things popped up less than a week ago. Look how much they've grown. They're easily 8 to 10 inches tall. I love it. Coming further down, though, these I'm really excited to grow. These are the Suco Long Cucumbers. I am just really excited to see these things grow. And then, just this morning, they, these are starting to come up out of the ground. These are going to be moonflowers right here, all right here. I'm going to have them come up this trellis, and, just, and I'm just going to let them do their thing because they get big, and uh, I'm excited. I'm just going to let nature do its thing out here. Really, really excited for all of this growth. Now, some of these might get too big for the area, and if they do, they do. We'll just deal with it, but I'm excited. <laughs> Let's check out the container garden since we're over here. Now I went ahead and transplanted the banana plant into this container right here. Hopefully it'll do good in there. This is a dwarf banana tree, so if it gets too big, it gets too big. We'll see. I'm not really sure. Right here we got our figs coming up, and as you can see, the figs are doing really, really good. Got the lime tree here producing like crazy. More figs. Got a baby fig. Whoops. Got a brand new fig coming on right there. Coming on around. Start getting into the citruses. They're doing good. As you can see, <laughs> this Calamondon tree is just a producing beast. It never stops producing. It's crazy. More lemons and limes. There's a brand new lemon right there. And look on this lemon tree at all of the buds and growth on this one tree. This thing is going to produce like crazy this year. That is awesome. Got pepper plants right here beside them. And that's the container garden for the most part. Now I do have more containers out around the garden which I think is important. And I'm gonna have a couple videos on containers coming this week. So if y'all are not into the container garden game yet, stand by. I'm gonna go over some of the things that you wanna think about when you're gonna start a container garden. And um, maybe you'll get into the game, but container gardens are great because you can move them around. But there are some drawbacks, which we'll get into. Okay, this entire bed last year were squashes and rampancotti, zucchinis, and everything. This year, it's all going to be melons. And as you can see, we got growth coming up all through this bed, finally. I planted all the seeds about a week ago, so they're finally starting to come up, and I'm excited to see just what will happen in this bed. And this entire bed is nothing but melons. And one volunteer pepper plant that I do not know where it came from. But I'm going to let it grow because why not? <laughs> okay, we're going to swing over here to this side and show you 
this raised bed is nothing but onions. I think it's what? White onions. And they are coming up great. And then I have one pepper plant here that I'm trying to see if it'll take off. Right beside it, garlic. Garlics are doing good. Finally starting to pop up out of the soil. And this is that rose bush that I've been showing y'all for the last couple weeks. Thing is nuts. I had to prune it like crazy. Now this entire bed is going to be nothing but beans and peas. And they are just barely starting to break the surface. Right there. They're starting to come up. Swinging over here. Now this last year was going to be the blueberry bed. I could not get the blueberries to stay alive. So I've yanked all those out. And we're just going to do a berry bed. Raspberries, blackberries, just a berry bed. I might try to get back into the blueberry game, but I think I'm gonna have better success for me in a container for blueberries, but that'll be coming down the road also. So right now I just have miscellaneous pots in here. This is a Carolina Reaper plant, rosemary, more peppers. These are all peppers I started from seed, which there will be a pepper video coming this week. I decided to try something different. I went in and planted cucumbers just Boston pickling cucumbers right along the edge of these blackberry bushes. Now I'm hoping that the cucumbers will come up this trellis and grow that way for me. I think it'll work and I, I don't think it's gonna affect the blackberries too much. And if it does, I'm gonna yank out the cucumbers. But uh, I wanna experiment. I have a limited amount of space and I'm just trying to utilize everything I can. Okay, over in here, now this area is kind of like a no man's land for me. And as you can see, I've got cleaning up to do and I need to tighten this all up. But right in here between these two sticks, I planted probably 20 or 30 cantaloupe seeds. Because I have a neighbor right over here who's a cantaloupe freak, loves cantaloupes. And I want to share everything I can, which is what I do with all of my harvest. I have not been very successful with the cantaloupe game. I'm gonna be honest. Last year I had a nice one, one, and that was Kate's cantaloupe. So Kate, if you're watching, thank you again, young lady. But this year I really wanna go heavy on cantaloupe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all the vines go this way. And if they go up and over, great. But just this morning, finally, they are starting to break the ground. So the cantaloupe game might be good this year. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, flipping over here to the tomato trellis bed. This will all be tomatoes. Got some orange accordion tomatoes that are coming up. Some Kellogg's breakfast. And some black uh, tomatoes right here. I'm excited to see these. I've never grown a black tomato. I'm going, so that's good for bringing in the beneficial insects. I've got these pots over here to kind of block the sun from from like that little one. Um, he's not really doing good, but we'll see. The biggest thing with tomato starts that I'm learning is you really got to let them get bigger before you throw them out here. I probably should have had these a little bigger like I did the single seed challenge tomato plants. But hey, everything's learning and sharing and I'm going to share everything I do, fail or success on this channel. And for the long time viewers, you know that can be pretty funny. <laughs> Flipping over here. This can be a carrot bed right here. We got garlic starting to pop up in this entire section. And then what you're looking at here is the crimson clover that actually survived last year that I have to get out of there. Big old Brussels sprout plant that's survived the winter. So I'm just going to let it go and see what it does. And as you can see, there's little tiny Brussels sprouts in there. I don't know if this is going to actually produce, but we'll see. This section, beans and peas, beans and peas. And just as this morning, you can see they're starting to come up. More beans and peas over here. And again, just this morning, they're starting to come up. Okay, so from here, all the way over to here, is nothing but squashes and zucchinis. And they are starting to break the ground. So we'll see what they do. Hopefully I'll have a really good squash and zucchini game this year, but I don't know.
I really don't know. Beside it are some eggplants. I forgot the brand of these. These are the Rosita eggplants right here. Rosita eggplants. If you're wondering what's in this, that's mothball water. Mothball water keeps away squash spores, which you do not want around any of your squash or zucchinis. So I'll put a link to that video that I did last year right here. Okay, now this next part I'm really excited about. I've never grown this before and they're actually coming up. So, <laughs> okay. So let's start right over here. Here's a single seed challenge plant. That's little, that's tiny Elvis and Priscilla. Y'all are following the single seed challenge 2023 here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. You know the deal with these two awesome tomato plants. And for the kiddos that are watching this, there you go. Okay, so I decided to do some companion planting with these two tomato plants. And I put onions in all around it. So I've got onions going right down the middle here and all through here. There's basil, basil around. So I'm gonna really try to protect these two plants from pests by companion planting, which is a huge thing to do, which is a big thing for me on this channel because it works. I, I will always, always companion plant because it absolutely works. Okay, so onions, but right here. These are what I am so excited about. These little plants right here, <laughs> they're corn. I'm growing corn. I didn't think I'd be able to grow it, but I'm growing it. And I'm gonna do something special with these corn plants. Uh, that's gonna be a video series that I'm doing, but this is the beginning of that series. Now, right beside it, this entire area is gonna be eggplants that I planted from seed. Not sure they're gonna grow, but we'll see. Then I got cayenne peppers planted all through here. Now, these plants are absolutely the bane of my existence in this bed, because those are mint. And for those of you that don't know, mint is a weed. Once you put it in the ground, you cannot get rid of it, ever. It will always be here. If you're gonna grow mint this year, put it in a container and keep that container on concrete. Do not let it get anywhere near soil or you will have mint for the rest of your lives. And I don't like all this mint. But one good thing about mint, snakes don't like mint. So I'll never have snakes out here. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, swinging over here, I decided to push, put some bush beans in this pot, in this container, because I can't move this container. If you touch this container, it falls apart. The sun has just baked this plastic to death. So we're just gonna see what these beans do in here and um, have fun with it. Everything's about experimenting. And then I put some right here in the corner also. This bed I planted with sweet potato seeds that I got from Walmart, or not Walmart, that I got from Home Depot. I've never seen sweet potato, seed potatoes. So I don't know if they're actually gonna grow or not. So far, they're not. But I'm about to start sweet potato slips. So those videos are coming in the next few weeks also. Letting these radishes go, letting the flowers do their thing, bringing the bees. I planted some asparagus right back in here. And there's already, oh my goodness, there's already growth. Look, 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 I just saw that. There's already growth on that asparagus plant right there. <laughs> oh man, come on, that is awesome. I did not think those were gonna work and it's working. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm sorry. I, I really love this and I, I get giddy. Okay, this entire bed is gonna be peppers. Every pepper in here is from seed that I grew. So the year of the seed is working-ish. Uh, I've had some successes with the seeds so far, and I've had some failures, but um, for the most part, the failures are all my fault. I brought certain plants out too soon, and I didn't harden them off the, I didn't harden them off the correct way. Let me just put it that way. Jalapenos, jalapenos, jalapenos. These are all jalapenos. We got habaneros, bell, monster bell peppers, and banana hot peppers back there. But these jalapenos right here are all doing good. And if they all continue to grow like they are, I'm gonna have a lot of jalapenos to give away. Pie a tree that I completely thought was dead and was actually about to throw it away when it started to produce leaves. So I'm shocked. I've got to get this thing transplanted into a bigger pot, which will be coming soon. These are a lot of my basil starts that I started in the seed trays that I threw out here and they are doing good. So in about a week, 
I'm going to start transplanting them over around the tomato plants. Because remember, basil and tomatoes are the best companion plants, period. The basil will help mask the smell of the tomatoes from the moth that brings in the tomato hornworm. So get your basil game going strong if you're going to have tomatoes, please. Okay, we're almost done, y'all. This part is really exciting to me because I love planting potatoes. I know that might sound boring, but the potato game is exciting because you don't know what is growing under the soil. You don't know if you're going to have a lot of potatoes or like three. So it, it's kind of a fun cat and mouse game to me with potatoes. And these all are all taken off and I'm blown away, blown away. I planted all of these uh, 11 days ago. So check this out. And this year I decided to do potatoes over in this area in containers because the sun isn't doesn't hit this area as much and I think that's gonna help my potato game but look at those those are red potatoes this side right here is Yukon gold and then these in here are pantry potatoes that were just like those right there in the bottom of my pantry I just threw in here and check them out they're growing so if you have pantry that's what I call them if you have potatoes in the bottom of your pantry that are starting to grow eyes grab them throw them in some dirt see what they do um, worst case scenario they die best case scenario you get a ton of extra potatoes so why not try it and it has always worked for me it's crazy never would have thought that my oldest daughter three years ago before I even started this channel was like dad just throw them in the throw them in a pot see what they do and I was like eh, why not who would have known right all right, coming right over here. These are blue Ed Iron Deck. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but blue potatoes. I'm excited to see these. I've never in my life seen a blue potato. So we'll see. And then let's end right here. So far, the strawberry bed, these strawberry seed start things that I got from Home Depot aren't really doing anything. These were already growing on the seed start when I put them in here but like with this one I don't really see anything going on but I don't really know anything about strawberries I don't know how long this takes I don't know if they're already dead or what I, I don't know so I'm just gonna let them go and see what they do um, here's an idea if you all have a lot of experience with strawberries or planting strawberries um, like the way I did, drop it in the comment. Tell me what I should be looking for. Um, if I should just go get strawberry starts, even though I don't want to get any starts this year. Um, I definitely want to get stuff growing up here just to see if it works. If, if this gutter is too small or just right or whatever. So drop them in the comments. I would love to hear from y'all. And um, yeah, all right, everybody. So that's the garden tour. Now this is the middle of March. 2023 uh, normally I'd have a lot more going right now because I would have gone and bought a bunch of starts from Home Depot Lowe's Ace you know wherever but this year I'm doing everything from seed so I'm having to grow everything from seed so that there's a delay in everything now I do have seed starts going a lot more tomatoes that are gonna go out here peppers eggplants and they're in there on the window seal which you're seeing right now but everything takes time. The pepper bed right now is pretty much non-existent. That's why I didn't even show it right now. But um, things are coming, things are coming. Now I've got more videos coming out this week and I'm excited for spring, I'm very excited for spring. And for those of you that are up in the north and it's super cold and snowing and everything, I really feel y'all should still be planning and preparing for your spring. Order your seeds start getting your seed starts going if you haven't already and if you have what i've learned is you got to constantly keep nailing those seeds putting the seeds in once you up pot the seeds from the seed trays to another container fill that seed tray back up with more seeds and just keep going why not right just keep everything going and preparing for down the road especially for like me i, I had some stuff die and i wasn't prepared for it you think i would be but i wasn't so just keeping it real 
All right, everybody, that's all I got for this garden tour. Hope you all enjoyed it. If nothing else, at least you can see what's going on out here in this garden. And hopefully I'm inspiring you, giving you some ideas of stuff to do. Uh, getting things ready and prepared um, is the biggest key for me that I could advise to everybody. So everyone take care. God bless. Continue to shine bright and harvest hard. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.